Hi there, it's the cast of the Umbrella Academy. Hello. We're here to see if we can remember and then finish our own lines of dialogue. So I'm gonna show you some iconic lines from your show and we'll see if you can finish the line. Oh dear. Mm. Are you ready? Okay, we were um, born ready. Any nuggets of wisdom that you can give to me? Oh, crazy. don't go chasing waterfalls. Any nuggets of wisdom that you can give to me? Don't, don't, go, don't go chasing, chasing waterfalls. waterfalls. Don't go yeah. chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. It's almost like you delivered this line. Let's take a look. Any nuggets of wisdom that you can give to me? Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers in the lakes that you're used to. That's so deep. <laughs> Emmy didn't really finish it. Yeah, Emmy, did you know the rest of that, huh? Oh, come on. <laughs> Allison can rumor anyone to do anything. Except she never uses it. I heard a rumor. I heard a rumor that you punched yourself in the face. What? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you didn't see me? I went like this when you Five was talking. That's her line. I heard a rumor. You I punched yourself in the face. Damn it. Oh. I heard a rumor. You put yourself. Oh. <laughs> you put yourself in the face. Allison can rumor anyone to do anything. Except she never uses it. I heard a rumor. You punched yourself in the face. Great moment. Yes. It took us about three days, I think, to film that. One day alone was just the exploding pineapple. I just remember lots of lots of bits of pineapple everywhere. Oh god, yeah, when the pineapple explodes, yeah. And then the other day was like Robert was originally hooked up to like a vomit rig, which was entertaining for all of us to watch. I'm trying to find whatever priceless was in that priceless box so that Pogo will get off my I'd ask what you're up to, class, but then it occurred to me. I don't care. I don't care. Wait, wow, that's shocking. Yeah. You knew that? I actually don't remember my line in this scene. This is the first scene I was ever in. I'd ask what you're up to, Klaus, but then it occurred to me. Don't care? I don't care. It's you weird to say when people ask me, though, to like say the line. It's it's just a weird thing to be quoted. Pogo, get off my ass. Luther is in love with his sister. Okay, again, we are not biological. Face it, the healthiest long-term relationship in this family was when five was Humping a mannequin? Either shagging or banging the mannequin? Banging that mannequin. He either said shagging or banging. Banging. I'll go with the other one. Five was banging that mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> banging that mannequin. Yes. Damn it. The only thing the Umbrella Academy knows about love is how to screw it up. That's a nice scene. They're all sort of mildly intoxicated, just bonding. I banging even banging a mannequin. A mannequin. Oh, God, that's great. You have given me the greatest gift of a lifetime. You so good. I have no idea, yeah. I don't know what the line is. You have given me the greatest gift of a lifetime. You. You. <laughs> oh, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> You have given me the greatest gift of a lifetime. You have saved my life. You taught me how to love? All right, no one gets a point on this one. Okay. Here's the answer. Made me feel alive for the first time. Made me feel alive for the first time. Uh, that's a good follow-up line, too. Beautiful little clip. It seems like the first sort of like heartfelt, uh, honest thing, you know, the whole Leonard thing was very much tainted by the fact that he became such a villain and so manipulative. During the previous season, had this very intense love affair with Sissy. I think it was being seen through Sissy's eyes, you know, feeling Sissy's presence was the catalyst for Vanya to make the transition to Victor. What well, a failed remedial school, most things I don't understand. Okay. Like yogurt. Yeah, uh, I know this. I don't know this one. Failed remedial school, most things I don't understand. Like yogurt. Okay. How does it know how to how stop, being, stop milk? being Yes. Wait, who's the one who's oh, gonna say no. the line? Is it Diego or Lila? When to stop being milk. It's cheese, but they've. How do they make it? Like yogurt, it's cheese, but how does it become yogurt? How does Here's it be... answer. Or it's milk, but how does it become it's yogurt? Milk. It's milk, but how does, how it, become does it become yogurt? yogurt? How does it know how to stop being milk? Oh. Honestly, this game is rigged. How does it know how to stop being milk? 
<laughs> how does it know how to stop being milk? It's perfect delivery too. Oh. Thanks. I thought it was my job to keep everyone safe, and I just, I just made it all worse. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Who says the next line? You should have paid attention. I thought it was my job to keep everyone safe, and I just, I just made it all worse. <laughs> I know this. I'll give you the first two words. I never. I never meant I to was... hurt you. Yeah. I never meant to make you cry. I never, I never meant to hurt anyone. I never wanted. To, yeah, I never meant to hurt you. I never ever getting back together. I never should have put you in that spiky little room. <laughs> I never should have crushed your face. I never wanted to be the bad guy. Oh. oh. That's didn't see that coming. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have got that. I never wanted to be the bad guy. I never wanted to be the bad guy. Forget my lines after I'd perform them. Once they've been put on to celluloid, moving on. Yeah. Because I know what it's like to love dangerous people. There's no connection. Because I know what it's like to love dangerous people. Because I am dangerous people. Because I, I'm Batman. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. Diego says, difference is, they love me back. They love me back. Difference is, I am Batman. Batman. <laughs> they love me back. Ugh. It's honestly traumatic watching that scene again because of how <laughs> freaking cold it was in that <laughs> barn for that entire week. We actually had a freak snowstorm mm -hmm. in November. Unpredicted. Yeah, so they had to write it into the show. Can I ask you a weird favor? Sure. I'm gonna ask oh, you a weird favor. favor. Can you call you me Batman? wax my undercarriage? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> can you call me Batman? <laughs> oh, can you hug me as I go? It's been a long time since someone, boom, hug. Can you ask me to do me a favor? Will you um, keep an eye on Klaus for me? He's a bit of a flight risk. He says, can you hug me as I go? It's Ben or no one. It's been a pleasure knowing you all. Something like that. Can you, can you do the Macarena? Okay. Just this one last time. Can you hug me as I go? It's been a long time. That's a half point at the very least. It's been a long time. Oh. That little marshmallow. That's a real marshmallow right there. Even if you knew everything there is to know about right now, you could never predict what will happen next. We don't live in a universe of rules. Can't help you there. <laughs> we live in a universe of chance or probability. Look. No. Chat. Uh. <laughs> Batman! We don't live in a universe of rules. We live in a... Universe of terror! No idea. A reality of possibilities or something? Realm of possibilities? What, like in The Hobbit? A realm it's a different of... realm now. We live in a universe of chances. Chances! chances. Of cats? Chances. <laughs> oh! We live in a universe of chances. Oh okay, I, I was close. I'm taking a point. He's a very, very different Hargreaves from the Hargreaves that we've known from the previous two seasons. He's <laughs> treated very differently in the Sparrow Academy, but then he also has quite a turn in the season as well. Well, according to Commission Handbook, Chapter 27, Subsection 3B, the seven stages in paradox psychosis are Stage 1, Denial. 2, Itching. 3, Extreme Thirst and Urination. Four, for a uh, flatulence. flatulence. Flatulence? Unwelcome gas. Gas explosion? <laughs> <laughs> Farting. Palmas out of rage is the last one because they put that Sweating. Technically. Profuse perspiration. Or excessive gas. Excessive Five, gas. Acute paranoia. Six, uncontrolled perspiration. And seven, homicidal rage. We weren't supposed to do that scene that day. So we were told like an hour before that that we were going to do that scene, and he hadn't learned that. Wow. And he turned it around and had to like bash out all those those things. And he absolutely nailed it. I was so impressed with him that day. That one was sort of tricky because it was like you had to memorize all of that down very quickly. Oh, oh, the the back. There were two entrances, by the way. Oh, oh Hotel Obsidian. Something old dame. Absorber, absorber, you silly dame, you. Hotel Obsidian. Hotel I, Obsidian. I've missed you, you shitty old dame. The old dame. The old dame. The old dame. Absorb her. Welcome her into your business. I missed you, the old dame. Absorb her. 
absorb her into your bosom. <laughs> oh, he kills me. Absorb her. Absorb her into your bosom. The old name. <laughs> absorb her into your bosom. <laughs> If you're an Umbrella Academy fan, yeah. you can expect to be surprised. You can expect to probably yeah. feel a lot of emotions for these characters as we always do. Chet's fantastic acting and persona. Taxi driver. Taxi driver, yes. We're dealing with new parenthood, identity crisis, and true love, and trauma and pain. And so I think um, there's some good stuff to dive into this season for sure. I am the champion today. You and guys put every like day. a rainy cloud over my head. Yeah. Do we have the budget? And we for can that? have like a sun oh. just shining light on me. Thanks so much for having us. We hope you had fun playing along. Be sure to check out season three of Umbrella Academy on Netflix. Woo. Thanks for watching everyone. Au revoir. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> Hope you score better than we did.